hey hello guys in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can get two months free windows rdp so if you want to create windows rdp then watch this video till the end and you will able to create windows rdp for free for two months okay so in this video we are going to see how you can create windows rdp using digital ocean so let's search for Mahesh Technicals and come to my website. Here you will see this article which is create windows RDP on digital ocean. If you if you not found this article just click on search bar and type RDP and press enter then you will see this article. Click on this article. Here you will find all the related instructions to create windows RDP for free. First of all you need to create an Detail Ocean account with $200 credits. For that, you need to click this button which says Create Detail Ocean account. And you can see here banner which is showing $200 credits if you register with this link. Okay. So I already have an account. So I'm going to sign in with my account. When you register, you will see this type of screen dashboard. And you will see here your credits I don't have credits because I already use this so let me show you how you can create your Windows server so first of all you need to create Ubuntu virtual machine okay so in DigitalOcean so let's create just click on create button and click on droplet then click on your region select your region so I'm selecting Bangalore because this is closest region according to my country now you need to select Ubuntu latest version for image okay then you need to select a plan make sure you have at least 4 GB RAM and 2 CPUs so I'm going to select this one you can select bigger plan as well because you have $200 credits now in password authentication we are going to select password and type your strong password here make sure fulfill all the required fields okay then scroll down here you need to see hostname remove that and type anything whatever you want so i am going to type windows 10 win 10 and in the tags also add it then click on create droplet button it will take two to three minutes to create your droplet so please wait until the droplet created okay so our droplet is successfully created now you can see that we have ip address as well so let's see which is the next step according to our article so now we are going to install windows server on our ubuntu virtual machine so how we can do that let's see click on your virtual machine okay now click on recovery button now turn off your virtual machine okay now click on boot from recovery ISO just click one time then wait now it is selected now again turn on your virtual machine okay now click on access button then scroll down and click on launch recovery console now type sixth number six and press enter now you need to download windows iso file from here so to do that you need command you will see this command here here i'll 
provided windows server 2022 2019 2016 2012 so use whatever you want so i am going to use windows 2022 edition so just copy this command copy whole command properly okay guys then go here access your terminal and paste your command here okay recheck your command then press enter now it will take 15 to 20 minutes to download so let's meet after downloading okay so our file is successfully downloaded and you will see this type of screen now click on cancel then again go to recovery now turn off your virtual machine again now again click on boot from hard drive then wait okay now again click on access button sorry first of all you need to turn on your virtual machine let's turn on okay machine started successfully now again click on access button now scroll down click on launch recovery console if all steps are correct then you will see this type of screen just click on the screen and you will ask for password so to get your password go to my website scroll down and you will see this username and password just copy your password Control V press enter and you will see this type of screen so you will see this type of screen so just press enter enter or close all these things you will face some mouse control issue for temporary okay I'll fix this issue so watch video till the end okay so now we have our windows server installed on our ubuntu drop uh, ubuntu virtual machine on digital ocean so now we need to enable internet connection into our windows server so to do that we need to configure internet protocol so for that we need one command which is ncpa.cpl you can see that so let's how we can do that let's see so go to your virtual machine here now okay okay so now you need to search here click on search bar and search cmd and press enter type here ncpa.cpl and press enter you will see this section now right click on ethernet 0 which is first section and click on properties Now click on Internet Protocol version 4 and click on Properties. Now click on this second option. Use the following IP addresses. Now you need to fill all the details. 
for example IP address subnet mask and gateway so you will find this details on your screen so just scroll up lightly and you will see in the bottom you will find all the details so let's add our IP address first Now let's add gateway. And in subnet mask type 255 255, then 224 and 0. I don't know why it is showing 240 in bottom, but you need to type 224. Okay. Then in DNS type 8888, then alternate DNS. type 8844 like this then click on save button ok button then click on close button then you will see this type of screen on your computer okay it means your internet connection is connected successfully just click on yes and that's it our internet connection is connected successfully on our windows server rdp so now we can use this rdp using our windows desktop application so let's do that so first of all go to your detail ocean account click back okay so now we have this ip address so go to my website and now we already connected our internet connection so now the next step is to connect your windows rdp using your windows remote desktop application okay so let's do it first of all copy your ip address then in your computer click on search bar and search here remote desktop and you will see this application just click and open this application paste your ip address here then click on show more button now it is asking for username so go to my website i already provided username and password okay scroll up and you will see username and password just copy username which is administrator then click on next then it is asking for password so go again and copy this password also then paste here watch this video till the end i'll show you how you can change your password as well okay so click on yes and boom now you successfully connected with your rdp using remote desktop application on your windows machine so let's check our internet speed so let me search for speed test and let's check our internet speed this internet speed is from RDP okay you can see that 350 400 Mbps you have it so with this way you can easily use Windows Server from digital ocean for free for two months okay okay so let me show you the next step which is password change how you can change your by default password okay so let's see which step we have right now okay we cover these steps now we need to change our password 
so let's do it so if you want to use this windows server on android you can follow this guide on my website and you can use this server in mobile as well so go to settings and go to accounts let's change our password click on sign in option click on password click on change paste your by default password which is copied from my website just paste here then click on next then type your new password here so let me add my new password Our password is successfully changed. Now to see that our password is changed or not, we need to restart your computer. So to do that, just click on Windows icon and click here and click restart and click here. It is disconnected from your computer. So click on OK. We need to connect again so wait one minute one to two minutes then it is asking for password so put your latest new password here which you set it right now then click on ok okay so now you can see we log in successfully it means our password is changed successfully so let's close this tabs and let's add our disk space okay we need to attach our disk space for that just search windows administrative tools you can see that click on it click on computer management now click on disk management Here you need to select middle option and long press and right click on it and click on extend volume. Then let's next, next, next and finish. That's it. Your storage also allotted. So to check that, open your file manager, go to this PC and you can see our storage is also allotted 79 GB allotted. So with this way you can easily allot storage as well. So with this way you can easily install Windows Server on Digital Ocean for free for two months. Okay, and it is very fast and convenient. Okay, you can use it. So all topics are covered right now. So let me show you how you can delete this droplet. It means how you can delete this Windows PC. So to delete that, just write click on the, these three lines then click on destroy then click on destroy this droplet then put your name here which is droplet name so and click on destroy that's it with this way you can destroy your droplet and delete your windows server from DigitalOcean so you can create new so i hope you like this video like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys we will meet in the next video